just saying. Yes, I like for the greatest to give them fair. <laughs> Serious things seem like you're the remote. Look. <laughs> Uh, Undisclosed. <laughs> All right, in a remote location. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we give thanks for everyone tuning in. We are here again, Ballhead and the Drip Podcast. Uh, we give thanks for everyone tuning in. Respect. We were there at the Jesse Royal function the other day. So we give thanks for the vibes there. Give thanks for ones in attendance, you know. And we saw some people that tuned into the show. So we give thanks for them the same way. All right, let the people know about that new project you have circulated. Yes, I want to tell the people to check out the new documentary, Cure My Pain, the marijuana documentary. And it's not the average marijuana documentary that it really should go in deep into the inner city and show you a whole heap of reasons why the youth them even not smoke from a tender age. So I really want people to check it out for really see the psychology behind it. Cure My Pain, marijuana documentary out now, you know? Serious thing, link in the description. Also, remember this Sunday is Father's Day, right? <laughs> we will be celebrating father's day here i never knew radio so tune in uh we'll be on air from 9 to 11 wloi.org i never knew radio george truly jr aka the ball head celebrating father's day done properly all right what we're reasoning about today well you know so one reason about this whole thing of genuine strength because realize that most people who said them again get them again strength then they really get from a genuine perspective it's almost like giving a strength is just a a a, a whole fanatic when it comes to you come when it comes to how people per, people perceive you. That are that are the reason why most people get strength and it seems like the whole genuineness out of that gone now. So we really want to explore the whole concept of what it means to give somebody a true, true strength, you know, without even a thing about nothing in return. And far I just wanna to kick start it. I have to bring up Christianity, and um, I don't say unfortunately, but it's what it's many of us grew up in uh, uh, under that Christian psychology, and it's a give and take. You get what I'm saying, and, and I think that idea is ingrained in people's head that if I do this, I should get this return, like investments in a sense, you know. And there's no people don't usually do stuff for the sake of doing it. It's very rare to find somebody that's really on that heights. There's a lot of people really do it with intention of, it's always a scheme. <laughs> we out here scheming, yeah. There's always something, yeah. They want to get close to you or they think they're going to get something. And what you, you uh, in the intro, you brought up a great point in regards to how they look. You know, so the the the, the thing is not done for the, uh, the sake of doing the thing or the actual sake of helping someone or actual the sake of uh, supporting someone. But it's all about how they're perceived. Like, I grew up with it. Cause I remember my mother would always say, like, oh, how's something going to look? You know what I'm saying? How's something going to look? Or, yo, you got to get a card. Or you got to do this. And you got to do that. And you're not doing it for the sake of the, the, the purpose of it. You're doing it for how you're represented. It. It's like brand building in a sense. Like, people trying to build this false perception of them, of um, a, a level of kindness that they have. That's just not the case. You know, I learned this with homeless people. Fire, listen. You know, if you give a homeless person some money or give them something, those behind you is a high probability they're going to end up doing it. But if you didn't do it, they wouldn't do it. It's like they feel pressured in the sense of doing it because you did it. It's like, man, all right, then. So, boom, they're going to pull out something. But if you weren't there and didn't do anything, they wouldn't do it. And this ties into a conversation I had with an ex brethren. I was saying, it sounded way when I say this, but I think majority, I'm, I'm not going to say majority. I won't say majority. A lot of, a lot of teachers are very selfish. It's supposed to be like the selfless uh, act, this noble act. But when you really get into the psychology and get into the school system, and yes, I understand the school system does create the monster because they do this uh, performance-based pay. But a lot of teachers are very selfish in the sense that it's all about how, how they feel. And in the search of trying to get this good feeling, they do a lot of things that are detrimental to the child in all aspects of their life. Whether it's fudging grades or whether letting behaviors ride that are detrimental to them because they're trying to be friends with them and get this whatever friendship or weird attention they didn't get in their younger age. You know, so far it's a tricky thing and it's a good topic. I want to bring us, it's funny you brought up this topic because I, I spoke to you 
about I was there with the elder Jeff Sarge, the legendary Jeff Sarge, her real personality. And he was speaking about, we were speaking about, um, we we're actually speaking about the help that he gave me. You get what I'm saying? So Jeff Sarge is a vital uh, key component in the creation of I Never Knew TV. You know, he did a lot of stuff behind the scenes, gave me a lot of links. And I was saying like, you know, that's not the norm, especially within our culture. You know, people not really giving me that strength like that now. Don't get it twisted. You know, so I was big in the mind. I always big about, but you know, I said, man, it's like, what if he never, what was just playing with him? Like, what if he never gave me that strength and boom and said, yo, he usually give people strength, but he give one chance, you know? So it's not going to be a fight where you're there exploiting the man and taking advantage of the man, you know? And, and some people, man, they get burnt and they just cut people off. And I kind of understand it to a certain extent. Some people deal with you rotten, but like, as a culture, we really need to give uh, strength when it's when you're able to do it, especially for the younger generation. Or even information, you know, people are very selfish with information. You know, very selfish. And I don't want to put my business out there, you know, but I do help a lot of people. And I'm an open book when it comes to stuff. You know, if I know it, I will share it. And like that information, a man not really going to tell you too tough, you know. And one thing I did learn with people who are very successful and keyword secure within themselves They'll tell you everything about their industry, everything that they know, because they're not offended by you. They're not scared that you're like going to take over anything or do this or that. They're just very, they know they're confident in their ability. But I think with us, one, it's a level of gratefulness in there in the sense that everyone wants to be the top dog. And also, I think insecurity plays a humongous role in regards to that failure to share. What do you think about that one, Fire? I know I said a lot. Fox. This, this last point here in regards to like. No, Fox. Yeah. A fox for you, cause you, you, you know what, what really go on, and I'm low over there. I bring that up for you because, especially the part where they said they, they want to be the top dog. Everybody want to be the top man, but two side tweets, you know. So watch this now. In a most people brain, them things are sharing information, are sharing too much information, then equivalent to them being um, outrun by the person who them get the information. And it's a silly concept because that, that alone shows that most people not see themselves as being unique. Them not see them, them, them not overstand the, the, the concept of them fingerprint and knowing that nobody else can have your fingerprint. And I did, I did say no, it cannot get weird because why is everything, as Bob the Great Top Kong the tell us, why is everything have to be a rat race? Why everything have to always be a race? Why it have to always be a competition? And then that when I really look for boost up and build up one another. So we, we will start hold back information. Or if we do get information, we only give a piece of the information and then never inform, inform the individual where I get information. So that's not the whole. Excuse me. So another person, the journey you now is almost like how we allow them to stumble. Even though people have experienced things, you know. But to see if you have the full answer, or you have the full component, excuse me, and you know what takes place, you're not supposed to have to give them the bits and pieces that for them to for them solve no puzzle. All you have to do is give them information so they can rise up the ladder and help for themselves and in return help out others. Because when enough man overstand, you know, all the hear man I talk about is like they have to be top man and a whole lot of information. You know, so the more information you share with the youth out there and the more respect you give because if, so if you share information with somebody and then become extremely successful, you know, you know, you know how great that is for you internally for no say, no matter of the levels where that person person want to reach pan, and you did give them the start, you know, how great them thing that is. And then you have the next flip side to it now when you talk about being the top dog, where some people, as weird as this might sound, actually give you a spotlight, give, give certain people a spotlight or give certain people information just for the sake of saying, oh, I did that. You see, so like, and I'm wish for my city take place in the most part. I see it take place in the entertainment industry. I see it constantly in the entertainment industry where a man we, we bring across a, a young artist or I bring across an artist where most people don't know for say, okay, I made it, give them one of the, I me, I me really help them youth. Yeah. Like the other day, me are an artist. Me are an artist, I say, yeah, man, he might give young artists more strength and young artists drive. But then when we, when we really listen, listen to the conversation, we hear the same artist reference, reference for himself as big league and the top, and him are the top man because you don't know when a big people time and a superstar time now, them, them look at artists that go, go to the side. So me I say, how can you say, yeah, I give you strength, but yet still you say, you have to just go to the side when superstar, when superstar come. And you know, you know what that show me say? That show me one thing, because you see me I talk about giving strength, 
I have to, have to shout out Rodney Price, Bunty Killer, and them man, they set the example to give strength. But I'm, I have to highlight that because you know what is giving strength? Giving strength is Bunty Killer calling on Wayne Marshall, Vibes Cartel, anybody else in prime time when every single attention is on Bunty Killer for all of these unknown artists prime come time. on the stage. Come on the stage during prime time and prime come time. expose them talent. When you say upon your booking time, that that is what giving strength is. Not giving strength to some artists. It's not like just pile up a man over there so and say, okay, this are the amateur section and then this are the superstar section. So you see, the difference in a giving strength when enough people don't overstand, and that is a prime example of what giving strength is, where you can shuba, you can push a person, and no one said the man do that without even signing them to a particular label and these things. So we have prime examples of what giving strength is, but it seems like most people nowadays is not really genuine. It's almost like it's a boosting ego thing to really give a man a strength. And then everybody will look for something else in return or for boss and brag. Say, you want me to do this when them, when in fact if you have to go, if you have think about it from that way, it's not really a strength then. Uh, big time. And I'm glad you brought up the uh <laughs> the music to use as an example, but because it's very true, all right? What help are you giving to this person when the, the, the place is empty? I see it all the time, man. They bragging both about giving young artists a strength and the place is generally empty. No one's there. They're literally performing in front of no one. With the trash band at that, no disrespect to the bands out there, but it's not like the top quality band or what we saw the other day, the engineer. Now you're looking at the board and, and you sound all crazy, you know, so that's not the vibe. But you have artists that, as I said, it's prime time. Artists are very selfish during their set. Don't get it twisted, yeah, because they don't want to share the stage. And God forbid, they don't want anybody to like, what's the term? I don't want to say flop them. They're not familiar with that. Upsell them. What's that one? Kind of outdo them. You know, artists are very particular about that, yeah. They don't want to take a risk of nobody coming up there and kind of, you know, outshining them. So they're very strategic on who they uh, bring up for it. But um, I, I just wanted to touch on this thing in regards to, like, it's almost like a pseudo, like, you're this pseudo good person in a sense. Like, you're doing these things in a sense that, like, there's no perfect statement. Yeah, you know, there's no there's no genuineness to it. And as I said, um, I've been fortunate to receive people. I've been fortunate in my life to receive help from people who just provided help. But what I what I did notice is that the people who did it were very well established and very confident and secure people. You know, and uh, a side note I have to add on to: don't expect people to help you. I want to put that out there. Like, I just want to put that out there. People I hear it all the time and like, don't expect people. If you do get help, give glory. We give thanks. It's a blessing. But I, I wouldn't really leave my house with the expectation that people are going to help you because um, it's just not the norm, you know? And if you're fortunate to put yourself in a circle, though, where you are able to get help, I actually utilize it and maximize it to the best of your ability. But don't have the expectation of help. People feel very discouraged because... Uh, this person didn't go out their way. I don't know where they get this idea from too that someone's gonna go out their way to help you. I don't know where this is, but it's 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 a it's a it's, a, it's the norm because people are very offended. You hear people complain about all the time like this person's this and that. And I want to say too, from a cultural thing within our society, we don't look at in regards to the economics. A lot of black people, unless they're business owners, they aren't in a position. They're not in a position to help you. So a lot of people like ask why, you know, they want you to put them on at your job or something, but you're not in a management position, bro. So how are you going to put somebody on at the job and you and yourself you're just hanging on to your job, you know? So like economics also plays a role in regards to how much you're able to provide, even if a business, because. I mean, I said, why, why I can't remember your point. That was one thing more yeah, yeah. point. Over. Yes, when most people say them really like it, for example, the example is about put on for a job. Most people really, I think, about even just the effort, you know. And I guess, I, I guess uh, the problem really like. Uh, giving a strength is the effort, you know. Because you can be at the bottom of the, you can be at the bottom of the, of the, whole, of the whole pyramid. And a man say, yo, man, you know, so me, I look at work, me, I try to get a strength for you. You can at least say, all right, me, me can't control the outcome. But here we are going, you have a resume, but no, so I just said the HR department. At least me can't lift the resume. Me can't, I have no other control. But most people not even would have moved to even say, all right, you know, so me know you. I know and say, I saw the thing set and I saw this is how strength go. 
most people would even go bring the resume got like HR but kind of feel themselves them and say yo yo me at least me can feel content for know some yo me know somebody when now have a work and me have a work so at least me know they are the lowest level and that's how oh, most people think no uh, serious they give thanks for that clarification right um there's another aspect too man because um Nas has a song where he speaks about he actually speaks of ah oh, man ah I apologize I don't know by heart but um, he has a song where he speaks about people being offended by not receiving help and not understanding the position people are. Oh, I want to say the business. This how it ties in. A lot of time people think just because you have a business, you can help people. That's not the case where you may just be getting through, right? Like you really literally may just be getting through to survive and pay your bills, you know? But then yes, a person with a more established business where they have cash flow and they're actually making a profit, they're in a position to hire. I think people think just the fact that because you're in business, you know, like it's all this money and that's just not the case for the average person. The average business doesn't last. And if they're in business, it's a, it's a struggle, you know? So we have all these expectations that are unrealistic, you know, but which was wild is the expectation people have for other day themselves don't practice. Cause it's when they could give a strength, they don't give a strength. You know, me personally, as I said, I give thanks. I've been fortunate. I will say that I've been fortunate to where, you know, but I, I think I, I did, I did a good job of putting myself in a position and people saw a certain fire and a certain militant see me and they say, yo, this man's serious and they get you strong. But I don't really leave my house looking for anyone to give me anything. And I don't feel no way if people don't go out the way because if there are anything out there that you want, you just got to go get it, you know, but it would help more especially with that generation gap, it would help more if our elders, old heads, whatever you want to refer to them as, gave back. I think we could do more. With the resources that we have, it's not necessarily monetary. I think it's more of support and definitely information and just connecting people. You know, just connecting somebody with this person. And I think we just need to do a better job of that. Because I think in our culture, not American culture, not subculture, uh, Caribbean culture, African American culture, we not too big on putting people on. It does happen, so I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it definitely needs to happen more, and we definitely need to share information more. Um, I'll give you an example. You got somebody that has a skill set, say they're a mechanic, but they ain't really putting no game on the people. Yo, I, I will say this in defense, though, because I know I will say this in defense. Some of the elders do get turned off because when they do try to uh, provide information to younger people, they're not interested in it. So it's kind of a twofold thing. And the younger people have to have more desire, more information. And when information is being presented, they have to accept it. Because what I noticed that too, man, is like, I don't know, black people think you're retarded or something, man. Black people, like, when it, when it's coming from you, I don't care if you like you speak the king's the queen's English. I don't care if you have a hundred degrees. It's something in black people that just don't take you seriously. You know, for a lot of people, it has to come from a a non melanated looking person. It really does, yo. You know, so that's another that's another psychological. That's why the thing complicated. That's why it's good to reason, and we just can't say that. But I've experienced it so many times where, like, man, bro, like you know, people just really like. Especially as a man, people just, they just type cash you so quick. Like, you just a full-blown retard. I can't use the word retard anymore. You're not supposed to use that word. But you're just not an intelligent person. You know, and like another person who's not as intelligent as you, they'll just take what they're saying and you have to prove all these things and accomplish all these things for just to, to believe the most basic thing from you. You know, so we need to get better of just having respect for, for your own people, Fire Iron, and seeing the brilliance in your own people. You know, far have you experienced that? Because I've I've seen it, I've experienced numerous times where I can tell someone something, right? And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Then if a white person tell them far, it's like, is that's what it is, yo? That's the that's the the what's the name, you know? And that's for a lot of people. Say, all right, say right now, say say if we did an interview with one doctor, right? An established person. Say he did if he worked at like, say he worked at NYU, right? And he said something. It's like, yeah, whatever. But it is another white guy that not even a doctor, bro. He just has a little experience in that field. They'll accept it. 
a two place me say that in you know, all the time with, with, with me where people where people no overstand what go on because yeah, yeah, all them all I tell us don't judge a book by cover but most of the night people them judge a book by cover all the time twenty four seven and they said them get the thing twisted. The two areas me say that with most as it relate to me in my life or me see one in a music right in a music. Uh, I guess your relevance or your musical knowledge is based upon popularity. So you see, we cannot show somebody something and because them probably not see me as being that 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 popular compared to a man with them a pop for a pop star with them would have sit on them TV every day. Yeah, give, give them a musical advice. And them 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 a challenge musical advice, even where you know say it'll come from an expert. Because remember, say it's not popularity make you an expert, you know. Yeah, it, it it being an expert depends upon the key, the 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 feel where you study, you know, or you know something, how long you are doing it, and so much different factors. That a one era my season, and then then the next key era where my season, I know. And you see this, you see this, you see this, this this not here, on the head is where two off enough people as it relates to information, you know, because enough of them brain, you know, you can't be a not here and, and, and know certain things, you know. So right off the top of this, I'm start get judged, you know, because. And then I mention music as one, the other one in a technology. In a technology, in particular as it relates to like advertisements, AI, all of these different technological advancements where I take place. Most people know because me probably I tell them a thing and they must say, all right, then they see me as a reputable source. All right, true me as a nasty, them they've not have overstand or see me as a man that's a deep in everything. Not knowing say at the same time, he's an expert at the field. But you see, because I bring out the expert, I bring out the title to them, or I bring out what me is an expert in, but I share the information with them genuinely. They don't listen to it, and I even see enough people come back with it. So the thing that when me come tell them, when me tell them already, when them say Elon Musk and enough of them, man, they were supposed to be reputable as, 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 as billionaires in that particular industry, and thing tell them, them I see them, them eat up the concept quick, 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 and run with it fast. And I say, you see, there's enough time. The people them no overstand say, and the politicians do it to them all the time too, you know. Because politicians come present some information to them and use some some different terminology where them no overstand. And and yet still, them no overstand that and them still gullible and run with it fire. So I realize that most people have a preconceived notion of who I give them information, you know. So you see, if them want to know what takes place over there, so that uh, them are gonna turn on CNN and BBC. And if them don't see it on CNN and BBC, then it never exists. Not overstanding to CNN and BBC already have an agenda and for them a push for them agenda and for make you feed off of that particular agenda. And plus, even if them did really want to do that, could they extend their their resources to every single corner of the earth? No, they can't. So enough people never overstand them concept. Then we realize that when it comes to this strengthening fire, I'm not, I'm not glad I clarified the whole point I say. Oh, you know, if you expect nothing from nobody for the fear, fear gain a strength them way there. But you see the thing is, I feel like say enough ones overstand say yo and a life where you where you give, you will receive it. And in enough different ways it could it play out for you. Because you see it not take nothing for give a man a strength, you know. And we're not talking when they also strength, we're not talking about monetary or financial gain because for some reason in a human being's mind, anytime you hear about giving a strength or anything. Advancement wise, them see that them, them only can think about finances. I'm not sure why, but that's what most people think. So you see, strength fire, strength can come in a multiple different ways. Fire. Strength can come in a so much different ways that it, 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 it limitless for, for, for mention what strength is. We just look out for your youth, there, so, and share a little thing with your youth. Right, there, so, you yeah, we don't even know how much, how much worlds you're going to change by doing that. To share what information, you don't know how much worlds you're going to change by doing that. So you see the strength thing for you, you know, people, them only think about it one side when them need things. And I see at, see at that time when them need it now, the strength now are really coming up. So them are going to have it to human being selfish, not even looking internally and realize that the selfishness. So then did a project from man in black for them own a strength from coming through. So I just, that, I, that really I take place over and over in a fire car. We we'll talk about strength. And I get strength. And then they have been on the other side now where no people, no people who them genuine still, them are look out for your strength. Them they look for your strength for kind of boost them to our next particular level. Then don't get it and them dwell upon not getting that strength. And then it almost seems like it turned them from being a genuine person into a person where we become a, a complainer. 
and all of these type of things. Not realizing, say, oh, every man face them type of burden. Because me could have, me could have admit that, you know. Me could have admit that, you know, fire because I'm a little bit of man, man who reach out to for music. Music and a man that give you strength and the man them black, the way they want to call it, say them blacklist from certain things, them that give you, them that give you energy. We never win a bitter because we don't expect it. That's why I say, I'm glad see you mentioned that fire. We don't expect a man to do this. So we, I want to sit and complain 10 years later and say, oh, I fight them, fight them because the key thing that, you know, everybody I look for somebody for fight them. So automatically, if a man don't give you no strength, you dwell upon it. And then you would think, so you have all of these enemies. Not realizing, say, it's not enemies you really have, you know. It's just, the, it's just the way how most people nurture for not give no strength, make them never gauge. It's not that they're my enemy, but it's just so them learn it based off of things where they're around them and people with them still around them. So you can't really dwell upon them things and make it get you bitter because when, so when them things get you bitter fire, see the genuine person where you was first, it start turning you in an even more scarier person than them people who are not strength. And you, in turn, now I'm going to give you strength because you're going to say you never get any. And I doubt me I try to show enough people to say you can't really expect it. They're not at all leader. We just have to show you say, the, generally speaking, we would have, we would have known say, yo, giving strength to that be a good thing for do because what goes around comes around because some days, even no man is an island. No man stands alone. So at any given time, no matter which industry, no matter how financially wealthy you are, you are going to need strength for you because a man can have a billion dollars. In a, in a bank and him still a gonna need strength because strength is not just financial. So everybody needs strength and same way everybody have to give strength in a, to some particular card in order for, for the world revolve. And it's too this. Alright, it's too this. Oh, it's actually before we finish up. Alright, the first one is I'm glad you really delved into this whole point in regards to like it's haters in a sense. Like everybody think they got it. Forget nobody paying you no mind now. Like people like People don't understand. People are paying you no mind. And a lot of times it's like you, you a person didn't do something because they're not paying you no mind. They actually forgot about it. Like they have other things that they're doing. No one's trying to disrupt what you're doing. Like we need to get, I don't know, man. Like this hate thing is, this hate. no one's paying you any mind. Yeah. And if they're paying you your mind, you know, I don't know what to say. There's too much things to be done out here to be paying somebody no mind. You know, this hate the thing. Everybody, everybody's hating on you. People not doing nothing, somebody hating on you, you know? Uh, the last I want to think I want to talk about in regards to the frequency. Um, all right. When people give help or, or they think it's like some actual return, like a bow and arrow. Like, yo, man, I I, I gave our turkey a dollar today. You needed it. Literally within 24 hours, someone's going to give me $2. It doesn't work like that, right? And if you live your life and pay attention, I believe the energy you put out, you definitely get back, but it comes out in different ways and different spaces at different times. So it may not come from that person, it may come from somewhere else. We don't, the, the thing I've learned is that we don't take time to reflect on life to see like, man, this kind of, it kind of worked out my way. And I think they're looking for this thing to come directly from this person. That's where the frustration is coming from. You know, I help this person and this person is supposed to help me. And they just, uh, I just wanted to clear up that in regards to life. It's not necessarily going to come from that person and time. Like, yo, it's not no time frame. We put it, I did something, I want it back in 20 minutes or I want it in 20 hours or 20 days. And like, it doesn't work like that. But you as a person have to be genuine in regards to giving help and just give help for the sake of giving help. And now, uh, the last thing I wanted to touch on is though, you don't put yourself in a position to be uh, exploited. There's people who are predators out here and they will take advantage of you. You know, as the elder Jeff Sarr said, he gave you one chance for right in it. Like, if you don't, you know, if it's a vibe, then it is what it is. It's not twice. You know, we're not here. Or if a person got a history of dealing with certain stuff, you got to use your brain and just stay away from that person. But it's not, don't put yourself in this continuous situation where you're constantly being exploited and used. We're not promoting that at all. You know, but if you're in a position to help somebody, whereas, you know, you're not going crazy out your way or this and that, you probably should do it, you know. Especially for younger people, because they need all the strength they can get. And I know I said it the last thing, but I forgot far. I, I wanted to touch on how you say how strength comes in different ways. And it's not just monetary strength. It may just be listening to somebody. It may be all the strength. They, they don't need any response. They just need you to listen. They just need an ear to talk to, you know, or to be present as a form of support are the most basic things. 
Because everything we do has to be these big productions and all the excitement. And life is not like that. Some of the most powerful things are some of the simplest things. Someone probably just needs you to listen and be quiet and they just need to dump on you. You know, or they just need you in their space for a while or, you know, they may need some advice or, uh, you know, a little thing going on. But everything is not this grand, big thing. So people need to look into yourself and see, like, why you're so selfish, right? Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And why, when you, when, if you do give support, it has an ulterior motive. Um, you have to look into yourself if you're giving so much because it's easy to get into that, that little lane where you're giving too much. You turn into, I don't know, you're trying to be Jesus or Mother Teresa or something. Mother Teresa ain't no good example of fire that she did on a pure corruption, but you know what I'm saying, that type of vibe. Save the world vibe. Because a lot of the times you think you're doing good, but you're doing it for selfish reasons. You're not doing it for selfish reasons. So you have to look into yourself and see why you're doing it. Am I doing it to help this person or am I doing it to feel a certain way? Feel good about myself or am I doing it for attention? I think the wickedest thing fire when it's like, oh, I'm, I'm giving all this. What in God? What? Why are you recording that? That's 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 disturbing. If that's a ta that's a thing you're doing for your heart. Why are you recording that? Why do you need this validation and praise from people that you gave this person that did this deed? You just do the deed and try it. And anybody with sense, that's why they don't reach you because real people do so much great. I don't know why I know about the things people do. They just do it and that's what they did it for the heart. They did it and kept it moving. Well, we got this big production. You know, I think it's sick. I know we live in a sick society, but fire them one of the things that's really disturbing with me with this. This public praise for doing stuff. Because obviously you're not doing it for the sake of doing it. You're doing it for the praise or to build up your brand and look a certain way and this and that. Yeah. You know something when we realize though for you, you, have, you have the extreme opposite of that which is unhealthy to you know. And I that yes I that and at the first and I that that was the that be my next point. Yeah. I'm a I'm a similar fall in that so many times. So that's some of the things that I'm really verified the talk about this right me up on the opposite extreme extreme in the spectrum a couple of times right where, where, where we get so much different strength and we try to stay so much in the dark because we are saying you know what the strength is so genuine that we try to stay so much in the dark and we really think that sometimes even that in itself to unhealthy because i'm gonna tell you why why you see sometimes when you are really a like gear strength depending upon the, the light we are doing for it kind of can go hand in hand with a brand or with a particular culture to enforce it happening or to enforce it recurring again. So, example, like when we do the scholarship thing and scholarship thing, we realize that the more we put it out there, the more the more strength can entrepreneurship meets life music. The more strength we put it out there, like 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 people start to get on board. So, I'm like the mission and the wait about and thing, and people kind of can join the movement as opposed to earlier when time we are say, yo. But I do the thing and whenever business is nobody know them start call I'll be a different people name and say them and do it and I will never it never people are tell me that, you know, but it no matter to me because it me me so much far far so 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 detached from the concept of being in at the forefront. Because as you say we know do things for record it and anything there. But I realize that it take her from the effort there and it take her from it building next year and getting stronger and stronger. So sometimes I feel like I realize sometimes you kind of come out in the light with the strength, but it have to be with a direct purpose and a direct mission. So, if example, you have to say, all right, you know, say, we are we, we are do this over here. So, I see an example of what we do right yesterday, and these are the models for what we do. So, here we go, and next year, I'm going to like for you can straighten this mission. I mean, also, most of the people them we are doing them now, that them, them in a structure, them now have them intention, they still, you know. But me, I say, I know you have few. Good people who me say can I record the thing and me see people are, I wonder why they record it but my sister them have an intention and them have a direction with it because they want to kind of build upon a foundation and get others involved so you see if it come from the angle eh, nothing wrong with it for expose it because sometimes the, the, the good hearted people them kind of so much in the dark when they do good that, that even that in itself me can I consider as unhealthy too and I can't say that because some reflect on myself and I really, really think that unhealthy because sometimes it put too much strain for you for continue to do the good day alone by yourself and overstand say yeah other people like-minded people out there who can help you upon the mission 
but it, it owner it, it it require them to realize it's a good youth or a good person I do this mission for them get on board and if they don't know if it's a good person I do the mission them have a question it likewise and it's almost like yeah butter for keep up and make and, and make the sustain the relevance uh, in regards to make the strength that get bigger and bigger you know no reality means fire but the 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 context earlier is the 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 one off people, not organizations or missions. You get what I'm saying, and those are the ones that should get the fire still same way, you know. Um, I'm not sure if you want to touch on anything else. I think we covered everything in regards to it. I just want to let people know that within this reason, you need to look into yourself in regards to first of all, the type of energy you're putting out there. Right? You can't be no selfish wrapped up person to expect somebody to be selfless with you. It really doesn't work like that, right? Uh, if you can provide a strength, feel free. As we said, we're not promoting people to be used and exploited. So you have to be careful for that. And also, too, man, don't wake up, leave me at house, figuring people are going to give you some free ride and people just going to change your life and do that, you know? Hollywood, yo, I think that's the thing, too, man, because there's always some scene where they meet this person they just like that, you know? They, they, everything changes. They get this big break and all this, and, and no. I, I really want to uh, leave my house looking for that. You can build up towards a goal because this is the thing with the big break. If I gave you an opportunity and you don't have the skill set to capitalize on it, what's the point? The break, the big break comes when you have the skill set to achieve that thing. That's the big break. Everyone, what they say, like, be, like oh, overnight success is 15, 10, 20 years in the making. All right. I wanted to tell you this. Me and Fire was together yesterday, right? And with the Jesse Royal thing. And you know, I forgot to tell you this because I was tired. Yo, you know, there's no such thing as a new artist, yo. You get what I'm saying? Because... No, I'll fuck that. You're not being explained to me. All right. Then, to because the still. <laughs> because if, say, I get a tune now, right? And I say, yo, you're a young artist, you're a new artist. Now, man, I know new artists. <laughs> Man, been doing it for 10 years, even if he's 20. He's probably been, like, really doing it since 8 or working. It's just that he reached a point now where, you know, he can create a product that captures the people or is presented in a way where it's palatable, you know? I'm due to the media because sometimes uh, the talent, talent, it already develop and it's so good and so sweet long time, but it's just it, because our industries run the world, you know, for you. See, see, this industry thing, it's enough people that's why the man them tell us about, about this mainstream uh, underground in a car. We think about the mainstream, you know. Don't you hear have some you have some little little stream where I feed the mainstream. Enough times some people even uh, mix it the way they fire. So sometimes it's even just about the talent them good. I don't sharp off the vice train and the vocals nice, everything good. Even them presentation done good. But uh, sometimes I just saw the journey because sometimes you just have to take 10 years for build up your thing and build up your powers and build up your muscle and know say yo him never gear the breakthrough you say you go through the next door you try to kick off on next door because sometimes the strength does not come so i just want to think this so you have to know that with the love forget the strength but sometimes the strength not come the way that you have to firm <laughs> yeah man? all right tell them again they need to firm in this thing right <laughs> and i agree <laughs> Uh, I'm a love how they point out the exploitation, you know, because I really, we really want to send a warning to all of the guys them out there where I exploit people, you know, the big guys and the medium guys and the small guys and where I exploit people, you know. You see too much exploitation are going right now, fire. And I didn't think that the people need to be aware of this exploitation, fire. And it comes in a so much different form. It's like, yeah, you, you have to keep your eye open for the exploitation. Not that, that, you know, you know for, uh, make sure you know for pretend like so everybody where you meet. I got exploited, you know, because that is very unhealthy, you know. So I know mean, uh, tell the people them to do that, you know, but exploitation come in a so much different form. You have to keep your eye open feet. You can't judge everybody right off the top and say them are probably like, try to exploit, you know. But you have to be aware and overstand exploitation is a real thing for you. No, nah, serious thing, and I'm glad you spoke about how unhealthy, because a lot of people that, like, after they have that bad experience, it's just like they cut everybody off, you know, but you do need to keep your eyes open, though, especially with new people. I'm not a new people person like that, you know? It's not the fact that I'm standoffish or anything, but it's like you're not going to get the same love as a new person. And when I say love, yes, we'll have a conversation. I want to be clear. Fire, you know what I'm saying, right? It's not like, oh, I don't want to talk to you now, but like certain little vibes is not, no, we're not open like that because it's just, 
it's just a vet process, you know. Cause everybody coming in like they want something and this and that, and they have their little vibe and they want kind of. So I just kind of, you know, analyze people and look at them and see what's what. And hopefully, people, put a filter. <laughs> yeah, hopefully people don't take it away because I, I think I'm, I think I'm a very. Please just be true. I'm a very approachable person, far right, right. I'm not a standoff person, you know. But when it comes to certain things, I kind of cut it off in the sense that you won't have access to certain things like that as a new person, you know. Yeah, but here I go out through the militancy, you know, cause the militancy where they have the same way because enough people don't understand. You see, we ever talk about giving strength and, and having certain energy. Most people mistake that for, for, for being willy nilly and laughy laughy all, all this time and I make too much people are coming in your circle and too much people are going to exploit you and the overstand say, you can't give a whole heap of strength, you know. Uh, you can't give a whole heap of strength, but you still have a militant, like what they are say, or they are or they move. I still it's a militant you have to have and know say, yo, I think I feel on a level because you wanna know me no want have me no want end up against no one say me is a man or love to give strength. Me no want end up against somebody a strength and them 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 just go take the strength and make a U turn. So I wanna make sure say the strength to me I it can develop the nation or it can build one little thing here and there. And that we read that really I say you no, know, so the strength I feel really I go in a good place. If me I receive a strength, you know, just know say me I grateful, so grateful for the strength there that me I go make sure say me I do it, me I do something positive with it. Or if me I give a strength, me not have the intention to get but nothing, you know, but me have an intention where when me give you the strength, you do go build up on whatever you something have. With. Yeah, don't waste my time. Ah, uh, key there, you know. For all those where I don't do wasted time, I really don't. Seriously, what? <laughs> We give thanks for everyone tuning in, right? Please remember, brand new documentary about the herbs, courtesy to one R. Tarshi, Big Dread. In the description, make sure you watch it. It's about 20 minutes, right? Yeah, at 27 minutes. Yeah, 27, 27 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. So you have time, right? Block out your 27 minutes, burn a spliff, drink some tea, eat some food, get a vibe. Very interesting. And, and, and I want to tell them that they didn't have a burden of split because I'm telling them, I'm tell them again, you know, because the funny, you know, it's it not funny at all. I'm going to take out the whole funny thing. The interesting thing is, two of the youth that we interview dead to murder and gang violence, you know. Uh, and that's something very interesting to see how oh, the psychology of the youth, them, the youth, them process, them, them, or them process things in you know, their brain and why them connect with this particular plant while processing them things in you know, their brain fire. So it's very, very, very interesting. A uh, serious thing, and, and do remember, um, this Sunday, Father's Day celebration. WLOI dot org. I never do radio with yours truly, so uh, hopefully, if you are a father, you definitely need to tune in. If your father's still alive, get him to tune in. Hopefully, you're able to show with them if they're in uh, close proximity, get the kids there vibing, and uh, yeah, it's a joy. I, I like playing a uh, Father's Day vibe. We'll be on air from nine to eleven this Sunday. On WLOI.org, I Never Knew Radio. Also, check out I Never Knew TV, Brand New Reasons, this month. This month kind of over, but for the duration of the month and next month, definitely on the heights. We have a lot of great guests, a lot of brilliant minds, uh, people you don't know, people you do know. So it'll be very interesting, and we truly appreciate all the support from those times till now.